Okay, I'm Brianna Cox. I'm from Louisa, but I go to Bridgewater College, and I'm 20 years old. Okay. And, uh, Brianna, you can talk to me. Okay. All right, so uh, what are you doing at this place right here? Um, currently, we are practicing for the Bridgewater softball team. I'm a pitcher, and I hit as well, but for the most part, I just pitch. How fast do you throw, or does that not matter in softball? <laughs> uh, it matters. I throw probably like 60, which is decent for pitching, but not the best. <laughs> Do you remember the first time you ever walked on a softball field? I do. I was 10 years old and I was very scared. I was playing slow pitch, so it was a little different than now, though. Um, tell us what it was like growing up in your town. Um, our town's big, but there's only one high school, so it's very clustered. So there's a lot of people that are trying to play the same sport, and it's pretty challenging to get a starting spot, but it was enjoyable. Um, what is it that you like about softball? Uh, we just talked with your coach. He told us all sorts of stories about playing with axe handles back in the day. <laughs> I mean, yeah. What is it that you like about it? I guess right now it's more of the thrill. It's more of when you strike someone out. As a pitcher, when you strike someone out, it's just how good you feel about yourself because all the practice that you've done to that point gets you to where you are in the games. So it's mostly the thrill of the game. Yeah. What about the camaraderie between the team? That helps. <laughs> It helps to have that. Do you, do you all have a winning season, or has it started yet? Yeah, we're right now we're eight and two, so we're starting off well. Um, we have two more games this weekend, so. And killing it, eight and two. Yeah. You, after that's like championships or playoffs and championships. Yeah, once the season's over, but we have a while. What do you think about this area here? Give me Bridgewater, a uh, documentary. Yeah, it's small. I mean, it's not really an ideal place to live, but it's a good place to go to school. It's a good community, so. Yeah. Um, this is a question we're asking everyone across the state. Mm -hmm. What's your family history? What do you mean? Well, uh, I mean, how did your, where your parents come from, I guess, you know, any way you want to answer it. Okay, yeah, my, and sisters. yeah, my mom and dad are both from West Virginia, um, Charleston, and I have two older brothers, Blake and Storm. They live in Louisa, too. <laughs> How did, do you know how your parents ended up in Louisa? Honestly, I'm not sure. We lived in Ashland for a little bit, and then I think they were just looking for houses, and that was Sorry. where they found it. Yep. <laughs> um, okay, another question we're asking across the state. What's your favorite place? To visit, or just in general? In general, to be mentally, to visit physically, whatever. Um, it doesn't really matter what state, but anywhere. The beach is my favorite place to go. You like Virginia Beach? Uh, not really. <laughs> I guess I should have said that, preferably out of Virginia. <laughs> Virginia Beach is dirty. <laughs> That's so funny, because we, we do interviews, you know, all over, and it's funny. They would probably take offense to that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but they can't really say, well, the mountains are dirty. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> they don't that's... have a comeback. Um, all right, so here's another question. What's in your backyard? <laughs> Grass and a lot of trees. It's very, Louise is very country, so there's not much, like to get to a grocery store, it's like 30 minutes away, so <laughs> there's. Do you think that helped shape who you are now, or would you have rather lived in like a bigger area? Oh goodness, no, I like where I'm at. I like, it's smaller, and I like that there's not somebody right next to me, like neighbor-wise, so I like that there's not somebody two feet from my house, so. Um, what are your hopes? What? Just in the future, what do you, what do you hope for? <laughs> um, well, I'm hoping to be a teacher, and I want to coach softball as well, so I'm hoping I'm successful at that. <laughs> what about your, um, with softball, do you, so you want to be, you want to coach softball mm -hmm. too. Um, is there any parallel you see, like, when you think about, I mean, do you know anything about how the history of softball? How like it started with women playing, or? Um, I've watched like the movies that they've made in the past, and like seeing how like the girls would play when the guys would go away to the military and stuff. So that's as about as much as I know about it. But yeah, cool. Um, is there any? So this is going to be preserved, you know, in the uh, the history museum. Mm -hmm. So is there anything else you want to add for people two hundred years from now when they? Hear the story? <laughs> uh, I don't think so. I mean. Sports-wise, play sports. They're good for you. They're good for your health, and they're fun to meet people and get outside of yourself.
What's your best pitch? My curveball. It's my favorite pitch. Is it curve left or right? <laughs> Curves left. Awesome. Yep. Is there anything else you want to add? No. Okay, cool. Thank you.